All right. So today I want to cover a question that I've been asked a couple of times and I think I've um, shown it maybe once before to a customer. Now I don't think I've reported a video or even a blog post about it. And I've seen customers talk about this. Uh, but basically, how can I render a React component inside of my pop-ups in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript? So uh, there are a couple of ways you can do it. There's uh, one way you can do it with just the React DOM and you can uh, mount a new DOM node inside the pop-up, and then you want to unmount it when um, you're done with it. And another way is to use React portals. And I think React portals might be a uh, more React way to do it rather than creating it using React DOM and creating a new DOM node. So let's take a look at how that would work. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to look at the documentation for React portals. Um, Basically, it uh, provides a way that you can render React um, outside the uh, the DOM hierarchy that you're working in, right? Think of modals and pop-ups, like, like our, like our pop-up, right? Maybe like a tooltip uh, would be one thing you want to do or some sort of modal pop-up on the page that you want to be a React component and it's going to collect some data, um, that kind of thing, right? So that's where React portals come into play. So Feel free to read the documentation, go through it. It's going to talk quite a bit about, you know, give you some good details and stuff. Um, I'm just going to kind of skim over it and give you a real basic look at things you can do with it. And there's some other guides out there you might want to follow as well. So here's my application. As I click around the map, I'm opening this pop-up here. Right now there's no data in it because I'm not doing anything, right? So if we come over here, uh, I've got my pop-up options and my scene view. And then I took this uh, from one of the samples in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, and basically just gonna open it. And then I use a function here to set the content info. And I'm gonna pass my center to it. And then what I want to happen here is in my center, I'm gonna update some state in my React component here, uh, set pop-up data, and I have a title. And then description is just gonna say, this is my React component. Uh, and I'm gonna take the center for the map so wherever the center is in my current view, and then just stringify it, right? And then I'll display that in the pop-up. And maybe I'll change this to, this is my React uh, portal. Yeah, not portal, portal. Okay, so I, over here what I have is I've got this pop-up root. And the pop-up root is just a DOM element that I created over here. It's a div, and this is going to be what is going to go inside my pop-up. This is my anchor essentially, right? This is like the DOM element that I want to create my portal onto. So what I want to do now is I've actually got um, a React component that is going to display my pop-up. So this could be anything you want. This React component could have some uh, charts in it, maybe some other information, and you're going to pass some data to it. Maybe you pass a graphic and pull uh, the attributes off of that graphic and do something, or the geometry and you do something. It doesn't really matter. The point is that you can create a React component strictly just for pop-up data. Now the portal part. So I've got this pop-up portal that I wrote, and this is pretty much like straight from the doc, right? I mean, they're almost identical. And I'm guessing there's a few things you could probably mess with in here um, to tweak it a little bit, but I didn't. Basically, one of the things I changed from most of the samples I saw is that I made the mount element where I'm gonna uh, place the uh, children of the portal Right, I put that into um, as a property. Right, I'm, I'm gonna mess around with some stuff. I think I could even just have the mount be part of the portal. I don't know. Well, we'll play with that in a second. Right. So here's my pop-up portal. So now, what do I want to do? So in my app.js, uh, I return my map div here. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and create my portal. All right. So there's my wrapper. Like so, uh, I'm going to pass the mount property as that pop-up root, like so. And then inside here is going to be my pop-up info. And this is going to have my data equal to the pop-up data. And that pop-up data is what's uh, defined here in my, my use state, right here, right? And then updating that data when I call the function set content info, I update it, then I just return the pop-up root, and this root element is going to get displayed inside of my pop-up. So now that we've done that, 
let's uh, see what happens here. So now when I open the pop-up, it should say, this is my React portal. So yeah, click over here, my pop-up with React portal. This is my React portal in the center is, and then I just did the two JSON. To show that changes, I can move the map around, click it, and you can see that the center uh, coordinates have changed, right? So let me mess with this a bit. Let me see what happens if I go into the portal and I just go ahead and I don't do this. Actually, I don't think I need any of this. That's uh, what happens here. <laughs> now I'm just experimenting. I'm not sure if it's going to work. And let's pass this in here like so. Will this work? Well, okay. Will it work as expected? I suppose is the, uh, the big question, right? So hard to refresh here. Yeah, that's around. Okay, yeah, that still works. So instead of having a a div, creating a div element, and then mounting that into my pop-up root, um, I can just go ahead and pass that directly as my portal. And that's assuming I'm not gonna reuse that DOM element somewhere else, I'm guessing. Um, but again, you can, you can play around with it, whatever you're more comfortable with, whatever creates less uh, div elements, I'm guessing for your application is gonna work for you. Like I said, this is a real quick, simple. Um, let's comment this out since we don't need it, really. Uh, how to use uh, React portals to display uh, React components inside your pop-up in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. So uh, I'll have this GitHub uh, linked in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hit me up with anything uh, you might want me to cover, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.